This is today's gentle reminder that you can live however you want to live. I remember pretty much everything I've ever done, I've gotten some hate for. People were like, oh, you shouldn't be doing this, you shouldn't be doing that. You shouldn't be driving a Tesla, that's for pussies. You shouldn't be starting a business, like you should go get a job. And literally give it like a week or two. No one is thinking about you, no one gives a fuck. So I just wanted to like come on here to say this because today's a beautiful day. It is Memorial Day, so thank you to all who sacrificed everything. And... But it is still, you know, I, wait, I woke up early today, still have my alarm clock because I want to, and I'm going to do some work and make a video for you guys. And it's just, you can live however you want to do anything. If you want to have 10 trucks on the road, if you want to just work by yourself, I say this stuff all the time, but I, I speak to people every single day who, you know, they want to join my inner circle program or whatever it is. And they're like, oh, I can't do this because my parents want me to do this, or I can't do this because this or this or that. And I'm like, dude, what, what the fuck do you want to do? Do you want to live the life that you want? Do you want to make money? Or do you want to go get a job? I'm not out here saying anyone should or shouldn't do anything. You should be following your core gut instinct. Like, what the fuck is this telling you? If you're stressed out, if you're afraid, if you're worried, if you're unaligned, you can feel it in your core. And so pay attention to that. Pay attention to inside. Where What is your soul telling you what to do? Like, Right now, my soul is telling me to go get land, build a little house, get the fuck out of the city. That's what I'm doing right now. So I'm finding a piece of land that I can go buy, I can work on the land, become a farmer. No, not really. I'm not going to become a full farmer, but I mean, I can live wherever because, you know, I have a business where we just drive and service houses and I have a few guys that work for me. But I still just like want to come back to this idea that you, my friend, it just... There's nothing on this planet that you can't be doing if you want it to. Like, and, and like I said, no one, no one cares about what you do. No one is thinking about you. And th this is a very freeing thought. I, I remember when I first heard that, I was like, no one cares about you. No one's thinking about you. At first, it's kind of like, oh, darn. Like, but even, even your mom, even your friends, even your wife, they all have their own things that are, that's going on. They have their own thoughts. They're like, oh, what do I do this? Do I, so no one cares about what you're doing. So go do the, whatever the fuck you want to do. Where else could we take this conversation today? I kind of, that was kind of really all I wanted to say, but you know, it's a beautiful morning. The birds are chirping. It's just really hard to be in a bad mood when you wake up early, you get outside, get some sun on your skin. And I don't, the longer I've been alive, the more I realize that life is really about that. Just being outside, loving life. I got a kid on the way. This is what life is about. Doesn't need to be super complicated. And for the longest time, too, I realized, like, I didn't want certain things that people were telling me that I wanted, you know, being in the internet lifestyle, you know, I have a lot of friends who make a lot of money, and they're like, you know, they go to Miami, they party, all this stuff, and I'm just like, that's cool, but I haven't really felt aligned with that in years. I've, I remember, like, years ago, I was like, oh, shoot, I gotta get down, I gotta go do all that stuff, and then now it's just like, I just wanna go out, move out to the woods and be kind of a hermit, so that's just me, I guess, but not really a hermit, I kinda keep saying that, but it's like, you know, I want to have like five kids out in the woods, have a beautiful house on some land, have a big ass garden. Like, doesn't that sound like a vibe? I don't know. So anyways, that is my vision for the future. You got to find your own vision. What does that look like? Put it on your screen, your, um, your wallpaper, put it on your, the backdrop of your, your computer. I haven't had my coffee yet, if you can tell, so my, the words are not really coming. But you should have pictures of what you want everywhere. everywhere everything that I've ever wanted, whether it was the truck, Tesla, now land. I got it all on the background of whatever I see every day. So your phone, you open it up, you should be looking at it, you should be putting it into your subconscious so you can start. I hate to use the word manifesting, but you got to put this shit in your subconscious so then when you see it enough, you see it enough, your subconscious is the most powerful part of your brain. So... It's going to be figuring out ways to make this work even while you're sleeping because your subconscious never sleeps. It's always, always working. So this is why it's so important whatever you put into your brain because your subconscious sees everything. It's so important how you talk to yourself. Never, ever, 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 even to this day, if someone says a word that I don't like about me, I will say, hey, that's not true. Like someone, someone said this um, a couple times this year. Oh, you're unlucky. That sucks. I was like, nope, I'm not unlucky. I'm very lucky. I'm here, I'm alive, many beautiful things, good things have happened. Yeah, some things happened this year that sucked. My house got flooded, um, my dog had to go to surgery. 
thousands of dollars. My truck almost blew up. It was thousands of dollars there. Yeah, some bad stuff has happened, but also like so many good things have happened. I made lots of money. I've had new guys join the team. I've, I've had a lot of things that could have gone wrong in the business, like maybe, you know, slip ups or accidents that didn't happen and everything has been well. So never put those words onto yourself. Never, never even speak those words or even think them because your subconscious is always listening. And I remember I, when I first listened to that type of stuff too, I was like, oh, that's, you know, woo wooey and stuff, but it's very true. And just to be safe, you know, don't even let those words enter your brain. So the point is, my friend, start paying attention, start living the life you want to live, start cutting out the things that are not serving you, all the bad habits. I mean, you can, you can, like I said earlier, you can do whatever you want to do. If you want to have a drink, if you want to have a beer, if you want to party, whatever you want to do, as long as you wake up the next morning, get to fucking work, achieve the things you want in life because your life is like a rocket. You need to achieve escape velocity outside because as soon a rocket burns 90% of its fuel just leaving the atmosphere. After that, you can fucking coast. Like you use so little energy when you're in space because it's just a vacuum. You can just kind of just rock it off wherever you want to go. That's why rich people, like really rich people, they seem to be so like chill. Like no one, they're just like, oh yeah, life is easy. You know, I go play golf every day. That's because they've achieved escape velocity. Now, obviously some of them, they were born into it or whatever. We're, that's that's neither here nor there. You are not there. I was not there. So it's it, it's irrelevant to even think about stuff like that. So how the fuck can you achieve escape velocity? This should be your fucking dying utmost thought, like in your brain. It's it's for me. It's been the last several years. It's been my only thought. How can I achieve escape velocity? And so remember, it's gonna take most of your energy just to get out. But once you do, once you this is why people do say like you only need to become rich once. You need to become rich once because once you escape, then you can kind of, then you can move money around. Then you can do this. Then you can do that. So don't, don't worry about what other, uh, what other things people are doing. Zig while others zag. And this is something else too that like, um, there, there was a really good quote about the majority doing something, but this is another thing that I've really focused on is like, what is the majority of people doing? Let's not do that. Let's do the opposite of that. And uh, another good example is the, I mean, that's starting a business. Everyone's like 90% of businesses are going to fail. It's like, well, most people suck. Most people do not have the stamina drive to do anything. I was talking on a recent podcast, which is going to come out this week. You'll see it was with one of my guys in the inner circle. We both like going to the gym, right? We like, um, we can both hit like four plates on certain lifts. That is like a 1% of a 1% of people can do that. Like the amount of people that can, like deadlift four plates or bench four plates. I almost hit four plates on bench almost, but I think it's literally like a few thousand people in the whole world can do that. So if you can do like 225 is like a top 10% thing in the world. If you can bench 225, you are already a statistical anomaly. Like you're already in the top percentage of people. So why don't you just translate that into something else? Like you're making money or starting a business. You can easily be the top 10% just by showing up, doing the work for a little while and making it happen. So, um, and then the other point is, I mean, we could talk about housing for a second too, real quick. Like how the fuck, like I was walk, I was walking down the street and there's a house, three bedroom, two bath, tiny house on a street corner. It's over $700,000. It's like, what the fuck is that? Like who the fuck wants to live there? Number one, cause I mean, our house is nice. I like it. But I mean, if I was to buy this right now, it'd be over 600 grand. We rent. Because I don't want to fucking do that right now. I don't want to live anywhere too close to the city. But we're biding our time, stacking some some money. I want to buy some land because that is what, that is another thing that everyone is not doing. And this is where I see like an opportunity: being able to buy some land, building our own place on it. Whether it's a tiny home in the beginning until we get you know more funds to build a nice home. But everyone's just going out. They're buying a house because that's what people told them to do. That's what their parents told them to do. My my parents wanted me to get an engineering degree because I was hot at the time. My dad was like, if you get an engineering degree, you will be set. Guess what? Now everyone has an engineering or software degree. A lot of my friends do, and they can't find fucking jobs to save their life. It's crazy. It's crazy now that like the, everything that people have told us to do is fucking wrong. It doesn't work. The, the world evolves so quickly. We, the, things change every year. Like We have AI. We have freaking 
self-driving cars, we have all this stuff changes. If you don't stay on top of it, if you're not paying attention, the world's gonna fucking sweep you by. So do what other do pretty much what other people are not doing. And so if that if that's you going out and buying a house, do that. But if you want to live life differently, if you want to get better results out of life, you should probably not be doing the results and doing the things that everyone else is doing. So that is pretty much today's talk. Hope you enjoyed it. This is kind of, you know, podcast style for YouTube. Probably do some more of these. I kind of like just speaking candidly. Short form content is, is a little hard to like get really into the zone, into the vibe, like into like the flow state because, you know, you're trying to keep it short, keep it punctual. It's fun. You know, obviously you can get a lot of views and it's good for business, but um, it's not as not as personable, you know, speaking to you, just you and not worrying about other bullshit. So anyways, guys, my brand new book as well. The home service handbook is available. It's $4.99. It's five bucks. It's the only shameless plug of this video. So if you want to learn more about what I do, how I built a business that makes me, you know, six figures very quickly, check it out. It's five bucks. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next video. Let me know what you want to talk about next. Put a comment down below and I will answer those as best I can in the next, you know, I also usually do a podcast every Thursday. So I'll answer your question. See you guys there. Peace. Thanks for tuning in to the Spencer Clay Show. That's all for now. See you in the next episode. Peace.